Hi, and welcome to these videos. Before we start, here are a few thoughts about coaching. First off, if you're doing this, good on you. It's great to have parents, relatives or friends teach you to drive. But remember, there are also professional driving instructors out there. Getting them to take the learner driving at the early stage and to do checkpoint lessons along the way may make progress faster and make sure they start with good habits and cover what they need to. Whether you're doing it all yourself or getting a professional to do some of the coaching, here are a few very general coaching tips. First, plan ahead. Be clear about what skills you want to teach in a session and how you will know so if you your learner has ahead, mastered them. You'll feel the car will want to roll forward, okay. so you need to put your foot on the foot brake. Concentrating on those car. skills helps avoid overloading the learner with a million and one things to remember, especially at the start. Two, communicate your goals. Be very clear to your learner what you're going to do and where you're going to go in each session. Repetition is key. Just because your learner has done something once doesn't mean they have mastered it. Get them to do something right three times in a row before you move on to the next thing. Did you get all that? One, plan. Two, communicate. Three, repeat. We use one, two, three routines and checklists all through the videos because, let's face it, we all have problems trying to keep more than three new things in our heads at a time. So, in this list of specific coaching tips, item one, Three is the magic number. Item two, mistakes are okay. Your learner won't be perfect. In fact, they need to make mistakes in order to learn. Just don't put them or yourself in a position where mistakes can have serious consequences. Speaking of mistakes, item three is a way of dealing with them. WASP stands for wait, ask, show, practice. If your learner makes a mistake, you don't have to leap in and tell them straight away. First, wait and see if they point it out themselves. If they don't, ask them if they notice their mistake without telling them what it is. If they can't work it out, show them what they did wrong. And then, practice doing it the right way a few times. Shoulder and drift. Is that better? Yeah, that's great. And that leads on to one final big picture coaching tip. Do your best to keep things relaxed and positive. Oh. <laughs> it's um, fine, we've practiced this. Yes, okay. It's a big part of your job to create a learning environment that feels safe for the learner, emotionally and mentally. The cliché driving lesson shouting matches really don't help anyone. Avoid them by making sure that what you're doing isn't too hard for your learner and therefore too nerve-wracking for you. One simple tip for this is to keep the lessons reasonably short so neither of you get too tired. Looking At the start, the 30 around. minutes is probably ample. Remember, there's a lot for them to take in. And keeping an eye on the other traffic. And finally, if you can, enjoy yourself. You are doing an important and generous thing with someone you care for. Then, shall we get started? Sounds good.